us. Yeah, hey, guess what, guess what, hey, guess what the second world is in a Mario game? Okay, what are we? How are we for time? Um, oh, hi, hi, Roy. Uh, we'll go on for a little bit. We'll what? do. How do we go with the Roy's cat? How do we? How do we go with the Roy here? Then we call it. Yeah, that should be fine. That's only uh three levels then, or three uh, four levels then, including Roy himself. Yeah. But yeah, one thing since we brought up like the desert world now, uh, one thing that's kind of like a point of contention with the new Super Mario Bros. games is that all of them use the same exact themes. Like some they they do like change where they are, uh, with the exception of the desert world, obviously. Um, so that's nice. But it's still the same theme. It would be, yeah. It's um one of those things where uh, it makes the new Super Mario Bros. games feel way a lot more samey than they than they really are. And um, like if they if they like just did if, if they just did some uh, unique like if they just did something more unique. With the if they were gonna use like these themes again, like change them up a little bit so it doesn't feel so alike, then it would be better. Because I know Odyssey uses does use themes that are familiar, but it it changes them up in a way that makes them feel fresh. Yeah, and, like um, uh, what was it? Desert, like Desert Kingdom. You know, it has all the Toast ice going on. Yeah, Toast Arena and like the. I like how the Seaside Kingdom felt like a resort and stuff like that. Like, I'm fine with like these types of themes being in Mario games, but it it, it doesn't feel imaginative when it it's just it's just desert level number two thousand fifty eight. Right. There's a reason why people say if you played one of these games, you played them all. Yeah. I mean, that's being a little reductive, I've found, and people seem to be gradually admitting that. But... Yeah, I mean, again, like... I don't think we can get this. I need a Koopa shell. Or, 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 or player to throw off. I think you killed all of them. Yeah, I forgot this game didn't have respawning enemies. I don't want to have to res... I don't have to want to have to kill myself. Well, finish the level and just get a power suit. You can come back. I know, but... If you have to do it, then you have to do it. Your fault for playing alone, Harry. <laughs> well, I mean... Sacrifice. I mean, I don't have anyone near me, so I can't really do much about that. Net play. <laughs> I wonder how that would work, actually. How do you play this game without a Wii remote, actually? Well, I know you can... Controller. I, well, I know you can, like, set up, um, the Wii Remote to the- to a computer. Um, hmm. I don't know how you do that, but there's stuff you, you can find a... online. I was gonna say, do we have a propeller suit as a power-up already? Yes. Uh, yeah, we could do that, but... Bop. You know, I, I can see why you needed us so badly for this comment- for this playthrough. Uh... I'm already running out of things to say. <laughs> Oh, okay. can't help you if you have to do new Mario U and you're just doing the same exact observations just about the same. Take our commentary and, play, and place it over this or that. Yeah, but I mean, HD. I do remember liking Mario U quite a bit, though. So. Oh, that sound effect for them. Yeah. Oh, well. Is that from something I forget. For Mario Bros. One, I think. Oh, wow, well, wow. Well. Oh, okay, there we go. That's a little bit weird to get. Maybe it's supposed to be like the sound that they do in, um, in, pre in, uh, um, 64. You know, that sound one that we need to feed the piranha plants? Oh yeah, yeah, it's basically- I think it's the same sound, yeah. Just... Well, not the exact same sound, it just it's sounds just, similar, at least. Yeah, it's just same idea. Really, you're stacked here. I don't, I don't even think you need any more power right now. I just like this minigame. <laughs> I 
Oh, wait, I have an idea. Why don't we take turns guessing which panel? Uh, I feel like that will take forever. Oh, <laughs> do the one. Do the one to your right. Okay. Oh, mini mushroom. Oh, mini mushroom. Power, new power from New Mario Brothers One to come back in this game. Yeah, I do the one bottom. Do the one bottom right of the mini shroom. Right. Oh, cool. Okay. What's the mini mushroom there? Not there. Um, third from the top. Uh, third row. Yeah, that, right. that one. Oh, cool. Oh, there it is. Wolf, but okay. Oh. Another one. Oh shit. We're doing so well. Um, hmm. that one. Oh. Fuck. Oh. I wonder if we'll ever be able to get one of them. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, that oh. One. I don't think you get anything special for getting all of them, but it is nice, I guess. Let's head down and around. There's barrels around here. I wonder if that means anything. <laughs> this is a surprising. So. Yeah, there's a surprising lack in, of a lot. Oh, there they are. Yeah, they're right here. But like, in as like in general, there aren't a lot of barrels in Mario games, which is kind of interesting because. Especially <laughs> Boopkin. Because like uh, Mario started uh, with Donkey Kong, and that had like barrels everywhere, so you know. And Mario got barrels tossed at him. He's he has trauma. He doesn't want to look at them anymore. <laughs> I guess. Or it's like that barrel thing with the Hercules and Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> you know, the one that makes him lose his godhood for a bit just because you throw a barrel at him. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, what? Think more Kingdom Hearts to get that reference. In the boss fight with Hercules, you actually had to throw a barrel at him. Oh, okay, I thought you were talking about like a cutscene or something. No, in Kingdom Hearts 1, in the boss fight, he's invincible until you throw a barrel at him and that's it. <laughs> yeah, I don't get that. Although, I remember in the SGB Let's Play, they Matt found like a funny story involving like a- involving a barrel of water. Like, <laughs> It is it's just like what? <laughs> okay, I remember there being a really weird... There's a secret down there. Yeah. I think there's a mini mushroom thing down here actually. Pop! I was trying to <laughs> time that with the music. Oh right, this one. Whee! Yeah, there's many mushrooms here room is down here. Oh, oh god. god. Oh, a fair. Fair. fair! I haven't even watched Rick and Morty. <laughs> I know um was it season three started now, so that's a thing. I haven't watched it yet, but... <laughs> the, be the best I remember from Rick and Morty is just the two brothers, and then a meteor hit. <laughs> it's like... Coming to cinemas, it was like... It was like... What was it? Two brothers running in a van from an asteroid, <laughs> and... Uh, and something something else... The movie. <laughs> I don't remember the entire <laughs> quote, but it's really. It just sounds funny. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the, when they have like the the full name of the movie, it's just literally a wall of text. <laughs> oh, here's the mini mushroom room. Yeah. Man, I'm, get the power up. I'm a bit mixed on it. I'm. I like it. Like. This is- this stuff is cool, I like how you can run in water and stuff, but... As a whole, I just... Eh? <laughs> like, I- I- Eh? Ah! And also, I don't like how you feel so neutered with it. It's it, it basically like- it's basically like a extra poison mushroom! Yeah. And you can't- you have to... I don't- well, I don't know if it's the case of this game, but I know in- in DS, you had to ground pound to actually hurt enemies. 
Why is that there when we need a mini mushroom to get in here? I don't know. Oh. Only for the other players if they happen to if they get Fair get enough. Them. I guess. Okay, fair enough. That's fair. Fair! Okay, I'm not exploring this place with a mini mushroom, so I'm just gonna finish the level. Yahoo! My head time! <laughs> I think that, like, the, 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 I think that's new to this game. I don't, I think in DS, like, it was just regular voice. Oh, yeah. Mario time. Okay, let's. I remember they used that exact same jingle in, um, in Fortune Street when you get a level up as a Mario character. Uh, this, I guess. I also know in Fortune Street that it, um, when you get when you're playing as a Dragon Quest character, you get a level up and it plays the level jingle from Dragon Quest Eight, I believe. Oh, that's cool. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, look out for anything suspicious because I don't remember what this thing is. That Mario is a suspicious looking guy. <laughs> if I saw someone dressed like this running towards me, I had to call the cops. <laughs> I mean, I, I Mario. Like Hat. I like the fact that, like, uh, lo losing his hat, it, it causes him to take more damage, so that's a thing, I guess. It, it, it's 54 anyways. It happens in Sunshine, too. Wait, when is he- how did he- Mario can breathe underwater indefinitely in the 2D games about losing his hat, and the sun kills him. What makes him lose his hat in- Sunshine. I know there's like a specific. I know there's a type of enemy in Pinna Park in the uh, the uh, outside area, but I don't remember exactly how that happens. Going actually, up. Actually, I think it's. It might be these. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh. Yeah, this is Starry. This one's Starry Mario One Ask. Oh yeah, you're right. Forty-two lies, and we haven't even made out World Two. Don't care how you throw that. Yeah, you got. You have to be careful with these. Eat. She didn't even need the power block, you have a propeller suit. Yeah, but it's, Well, if we wanted all the coins. I, no, well, I, I, probably, I, probably, I probably could've just used the propeller, but it's more fun with the power block. Yeah, Mario Yu has, like, instinctively made me check every tree now. <laughs> you never know when the hidden Luigi's there. <laughs> That said, I haven't played new. De uh, that said, I haven't played you Deluxe. No, I have skipped you... on that one. Well, have you played Mario U like at all though? Me? Yeah. Yes, I, um, my okay. cousin had it. Okay. I do like a uh, Mario U and Luigi U. Like, if you were gonna play just one, uh, uh new Super Mario Bros. game, I, it would. I think it should be that one. And Luigi U is a good bonus. I hate how you have to put a cheat code to put in better controls. Yeah, I don't like that, but whatever. Never thought I'd hear that. Never thought I'd see the day people would be lamenting the loss of motion controls. Well, it's because of like the how the button trigger works. Cause I think it's like the issue you need is that, it's like a multitask button. No, it's because you need to hit that. Say no, it's that they hit the they made like the like like say you're using the propeller shoot for example. They made it tied to the eight. They basically hit like a like hit the button again. They gave it the SA2 that, problem. <laughs> yeah, the problem with that is like because of the spin that you do, that can use to mess up your timing because you also need to do this to high bounce off enemies. Yeah, I don't like I don't like that because like having it as a separate maneuver like a different button or a shake up here. Wait, what? It should have been checked up. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, just having it as a different, as a different button, button or something, uh, is a lot, is a lot better because, um, right. uh, because, because it kind of just messes, messes with your muscle memory and your timing and everything when it's just the same button. 
Because again, you need to you need to hold um, the jump button to bounce off enemies, and when pressing that button twice does a spin, it just kind of screws your whole mojo up. <laughs> I don't know why they did that. Like, Mario U, I remember... They're idiot. Yeah, I mean, I guess. But I, I know Mario U, Vanilla, you pressed ZR and Z and ZR, I think. But... I don't know, it's been a while. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. I don't know if you can spin jump these guys in this game. Oh, no, you cannot. Yeah, they... For whatever reason, they just completely nerfed the spin jump in this. Lol. Where are the star coins, though? Inside your heart. Yes. I have been looking at some weird gags. Don't ask where I'm getting this. Get in the Jason. I'm weird, okay? <laughs> yes, the answer is like, yes. I'm definitely not weird. <laughs> oh, man. Are you serious? Uh, seriously... uh, yes! I seriously have to... Oh, okay, that... what is the point? Like... Speed running, I guess. That's really the first? Okay. I mean, at least you're not, you know, the bash rack. Uh, wait, what, what? Oh, I get it. You get a mini mushroom and then you yeah, get some stars to protect yourself. What is even down there, though? Like, if there's no secret exit or, like, star coins down there, I don't care enough, but... Yeah. Yeah, we should be fine. I think I guess it's a speed running. That's not bad, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I was mentioning, I was trying to say it earlier, I'm you know, shutting off Jason by mistake, sorry about that. Uh, I do like how this game is kind of just an, am an amalgamation of all the previous Mario games at this point. Yeah, I can, I can understand, yeah, I can see that. Like, I, I always, I do like how the new Super Mario Bros. games ha in, like, have, like, triple jumps, for example. And the fact that you can, it's like, I like the fact that they incorporated, like, 3D Mario moves into 2D. I think that's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I actually actually wasn't talking about that, but that is important. Uh, yeah. uh, got. Um, I was thinking more stuff like the barrels and pow blocks. It was just... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like that. Yeah. Koopa's right there just to screw with you for like small Mario. I guess. Like that would make me paranoid. There is one, like, there was a special thing with the, uh, flags in this game as well. I think, uh, when the, uh, the digits on the clock are, like, are, like, <laughs> if it's, like, 2 2, two or whatever, then I think... Uh, the last two digits need to match. Yeah, the last two digits need to, ma need to match. I, I forget, I forgot what it was specifically, but, yeah, if you do that, then I think you get a Toad House, uh, sh showing up at the... Yeah. You can at least get fireworks. Yeah, you get fireworks and you get like... I forget if it's just like mushrooms or like a toad house or something. Because I know I know Mario Bros. DS had a toad house. How yeah, they're combining taking elements from the ghost house this. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't have much to say, so... <laughs> I'm just kind of checking my phone quickly. Yeah, but the the oh, same. Missed. What? You're saying Harry? No, I was just saying that this game just follows a trend of uh, just regular fortress then castle for every world. Right. It's, it's a Mario game, and it's the first console one. Yeah. Console two v one in like twenty years, so. I'm... Yeah. I'm, I'm, not, I'm grading this on a curve. Yeah. So what were you gonna say earlier? Miss being able to punch enemies on the fences. 
couple things. Oh wait, we still punch back. Yeah, you can still you can still do that in this, in this game. What in the heck? <laughs> Why in the heck? Why in the heck? Why in the heck? I love it when bosses attack you before you actually reach them. Like that kind of. <laughs> I, think I always thought, thought that was pretty neat. That's paradox. That's that was screwed me. Uh, okay. Safe. Because it's I like I, I like it because it's um they're actively trying to halt your progress. And they're not just sitting there. Yeah. Effort into this than Bowser himself. Yeah. I mean Bowser like helps you with fireballs in like a hallway. I don't remember where the rest are. I'm paranoid with like, the secret passages and stuff. Yeah. Crap. Oh, I uh, go down. Oh. No, no, I'm. I'm uh... Look to the left. Okay. Well, then I'm dumb. Oh. It would be a secret path because they wouldn't. Oh, wait. Uh, I don't know. Oh, you're fine. If the coin's fell, that means there's probably a path up there. It might be. Is it just. Thankfully, uh, thankfully the motion controls are really responsive with this because uh, the last Wii game I played was Mind Over Mutant, and I swear sometimes using the motion controls to do like the, the Titans like special moves or whatever just didn't work, and that happened more than I that more than I more than I'd like. Bam. No, 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 go down. Not saying anything. I'm oh right, I forgot. Yeah. yeah. Okay, where is this thing then? I bet. Uh, wait. No, oh, wait. No, no, go to the steps. I think I see what you mean. Oh yeah, yeah. Wait, it's still not in. Wait, hold on. I'm confused. Yeah, let me look. Man. I wouldn't be surprised if it's. What is? We're looking for the middle coin, right? Yeah. All right. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I'll, I'll. If you head back, let me let me see. All right. Okay. All right. Where was? The, where was the third coin? Where was the? How far are we? The third. The third one was like that, where the two coins are. All right. Head down. Now, let's see where the first- where was the first coin? Uh... I think like... Around here somewhere? I'm watching the walls carefully. Yeah. Keep going down, I think. Let me see if I can jump- can I jump up this? No. Okay, so this is a- wait. In that wall on the right. Oh my god. Always look for the always look for like more browned out wall more like walls. Yeah. That's the trick I learned. Random invisible block. Well said modern Mario games are too easy. <laughs> I mean to, well we we do have fifty-two lives, so if you're playing by yourself, Harry, you gotta play with others to lose the lives. <laughs> no, I didn't want to do that. Oh, one other thing. It's a. I do. I do like how Mario controls in this game because compared to like Mario Bros. DS, like he felt a bit too floaty for my liking in that game, and I think, I think 
they added a bit more weight to them in this one, and it it just feels a lot better to control them. It's something. Never had any hmm? What's that? Never had any complaints about how Mario controls and the console New Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, yeah, because I I think I don't after after we. I'm pretty sure the handling is basically the same. Like there's nothing there's nothing inherently bad about how he controlled in DS, but I think the slight adjustments they made were were good. But I should probably put out a disclaimer, I've never had any issues with Mario excuse me. I've never had any issues with two controlling a 2D Mario since well the Super NES. Mm. I mean, I have some issues with how, with the controls and, um, well, not so much the controls, but more so, like, the physics and the, uh, huge amount of momentum in Mario 1. Uh, but besides that, That's I, ready. That's why I said Super NES. Yeah, I mean, I actually really like how Mario World, uh, controls, so... Alright, so... Okay, I know how to do this. You just get this timing right. And not wiggle around. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And we're never gonna do that. Okay, so I think... Uh, what is it? Yeah, we, we can stop there. Uh, so next time, more World 2 Desert Land and... Uh, I think World 3 is the ice level, but we'll see. Um, ice. Yeah. So I'll just do a quick save, I guess. And um, Yeah, bananas. <laughs> okay, uh, welcome back to Mario Wii. Fun times in Desert Land, go. Um, Meanwhile, I'm gonna be in doing Pokemon shiny things in the background. Yeah. I think this might be another level where there's a hidden vine block somewhere. So I'm gonna t try and take a look out for that. But, um. Yeah, fun uh, wind gimmicks. It's a good time, isn't it? Yeah. I don't remember if the. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I think the worst of it was the worst I've ever had with a wing gimmick is uh, it's, it's not it's not is um uh, I think it was called like Windy Woods or something like that in okay. uh, in Donkey Kong 2. Hmm. I I. Not even in the context. So it's that one. It's that it's that ever one. I can kind of understand that, but. I actually, I don't mind it so much in DKC2 because it's done in such a fun way with the platforming. I, um, I don't know, I, I don't mind it too much here, but it's just kind of more of a nuisance than anything. Crawl the vine, uh, vines. Hmm? Just gotta crawl all the vines. Yeah. Uh, I remember in a Rayman Legends playthrough when I said that the fact that the internet wasn't burned to the ground meant that Star Wars Episode 9 hadn't come out yet? Yeah, this is uh, being recorded like a few yeah, days. Yeah, 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 guess what came out like yesterday? Yeah, a few Today. days ago now. Uh, um, well, uh, uh, the pi it's time to pay the Piper fanboys. That's yeah. all I'll say on the matter. Yeah, uh. Just going off like uh, video tiles on social media and stuff. It's like it is very mixed, but I can't say I'm that surprised. So uh, I haven't seen it yet. Scrappy has, but I probably won't see it until like next week if I'm lucky. I'm alone in my knowledge. Yeah. And I think the last star coin is here. There we go. Oh, that was easy. Yeah, that's a pretty simple level. There's so many green shelled Koopas here. Can I get one up? Ah, oh. all right, whatever. Um, 
Have we discussed... We, we've probably discussed this in a playthrough at one point, but... Um, desert levels aren't really... Like, a popular level trope. Um, they're kind of in the middle for me. I don't love them, I don't hate them. They're mainly just a level. Yeah, uh, it's like... The, the trope is... The trope just doesn't really excite me that all that much. There are some exceptions. I really like Gobi's Valley, um, but when I think of a lot of desert levels, not most of them don't really stand out to me that much. What you're telling me is that you don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating, and it gets everywhere. Actually, I can t uh, one oh, other. Mario's case, um, the, issue, the only issue I get with their is just the same old song and dance in terms of level 2. Yeah, I think an issue with it is that, it, like, if it's a Mario game, or a lore game, a lore platformers rather, it's, it has to be the second world. It's like, I'm struggling to think of a platformer that has it, uh, not the second one. Crash tree. I barely. I. I don't know if I'd even count that those as desert levels. Like they. They kind of are, but they're most. They're mainly like Egyp Egyptian tombs and stuff. Desert. I suppose, but. That doesn't not. That doesn't not count. It doesn't not count, but. Uh, I'll. Mm, I. I'd. Oh crap. Um. I'll half count that because. It's te you're technically in a desert, but you're just a different type of desert level, I guess. About the, uh, what do they call them? The Arabian Nights levels. It's just a... This is a really cool secret, by the way. Well, I was looking away. Uh, you have to, like, the, uh, um, yeah, these, plat looking. these platforms are interesting because, like, you can kind of, like, walk through them. And uh, you have to keep a, a keen eye out for this because this is a really easy secret to miss. Cost the okay, that's funny. Yeah. Can use this as a platform. It's probably the first like. Uh, well, actually, no. There was a few like vines that were pretty well hidden earlier, but this is like some of, some of the star coins in World Two are were. They get a little bit more devious with where they place these things. I'm gonna assume the last one is like somewhere in the sky. And I'm about to die. Anyway, what were we talking about? Like sand, it's rough and coarse and you know the rest. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're talking about like desert levels. Can you guys think of any desert level that stood out to you, like as like not necessarily uh, one of your favorites, but like it's just a good level? Uh, desert of the Canaran. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm sure the Zelda games have at least one quote-unquote good desert. I like the I like the temple. I, I like the, I like the. Uh, oh crap. Uh, Arbiter's Grounds? Yeah, I kinda like that one, especially the boss. Yeah, I... Mm. Yeah, that and the spirit no, I, I like that, yeah, I also like how it did the Poe things, they remind me a lot of the Poe sisters. Yeah. I think that it's basically what, it's like the Forest Temple, uh, what they were going for. Um, I do, I do like, uh, the Spirit Temple quite a bit in Ocarina too, so I'd say, like, Zelda is pretty good with desert. Uh, yeah, d I think the um, 3D Zelda's in general have been pretty good with deserts because I'm thinking of uh, Skyward Sword as well. <laughs> yeah, so like Skyward Sword uh, had some of the some really cool dungeons in the desert area. Oh! Ah. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. And always, as always, the key to is just a nuisance in these games. Uh, 
Ah, okay. Find? I'm assuming it's somewhere up here. It has been a while since I, so, uh, there's probably going to be areas I forget. What would you say are some of your guys' like favorite kind of level themes or like tropes? Specifically, well, mainly uh, for a platformer, since that's like a really, topic of discussion. I'm not, really, I'm not really picky. Okay. Okay, I smoke. Our levels from like a. Uh, um... Ugh, what I was trying to say. From an aesthetic point of view, I'd like water levels. Right. Yeah, water levels can be pretty beautiful. Oh, yes. oh! Okay, whatever. <laughs> It's really just down to a matter of execution. Ice levels can be either the greatest thing or the worst thing ever. Yeah, yeah. It's like... They can either be like... What's the, what's the, what's the example of a bad ice level? Because like, thinking it's like the difference between ice cap or... Uh... <laughs> insert bad ice level here. <laughs> or crash. Uh, I'd say that's debatable. I, in some ways, I'd agree with that. Um, screw your platform. <laughs> I do like it when you can just. Just say s screw it to the regular uh, obstacles and just kind of speed through things. Cold hard, ugh, ugh, ugh. Cold hard crash is not a bad level, but it's not what I'd call. It's flawed. Really it's flawed. De it, it, it's designed flawed in a flawed way. It's designed exactly the way you expect it to be. It's just. Yeah, it's just... It infuriates it's, me. Yeah. I don't mind it so much now, but I'll never forget my first experience with that. Worst part of the level, it honestly, isn't even the ice physics. It's just bad placement of crates. I mean, that's one thing. Uh, oh, crap. In a bonus room. Thankfully, you can see it very clearly in Insane, but. Like. Okay, you know what? I think that's a secret exit, so I'm just gonna go that. I'm just gonna get that the second time through. Um. I will say, like, um, with Cold Hard Crash, um. It's like. One of the, this isn't necessarily a good thing, uh, but there's at least a decent workaround to the uh, the bullcrap design. I'm not saying that there sh that there needs to be one to be able to enjoy it, but at least there is one, I guess. Like the way I do it is, um, uh, was it just don't hit the checkpoint before the death route. Uh, go through with the triple masks. In the death route, um, hit the hit the um, hit the box, and then go back to hit the checkpoint, and then go through the death route again uh, to um, get the gem, and then kill yourself. So then after that point, you don't need to go through the death route again because you already took care of all the boxes there, and you're you're home free at that point. I think that's the best way to go about it, but even. Again, even still, the fact that there has to be a workaround isn't great. <laughs> but whatever. 
animated debut in Mario 64. Huh? I mean, yes, trailing it was that did the they debut in Mario 64. Um I'm not sure. Oh my god. I remember these fire chomps being like some of the. Th there's like. No, oh, sorry, not the. These guys are like. can be like really annoying in Mario 3, because I remember like one specific level uh, in Mario 3 where it was just a bunch of really tight platforming with. in an autist corner with just a bunch of fire chomps like, just after you, and it was just a complete mess. I think this is just another cannon. Yeah. <sighs> On map enemy encounters kind of gave me anxiety sometimes. <laughs> Uh, this is a little bit random, I guess, but uh, shout out to uh, Smash 4's uh, Mario 3 medley that had uh, the Hammer Bros theme in it. That was probably one of my favorite remixes in Smash 4. To the Smash 3 and Wii U OST a listen. <laughs> Another listen. Yes. Um, Smash, Smash Wii U, uh, isn't my favorite list of remixes, but it does have some really good highlights. Mario 6, uh, excuse me. The Mario 64 theme remix they had as, they added in, as DLC was really good. Yeah, I like that one. Um... I like my propeller suit, but it's a thing. With, something interesting about the the castle levels in this game is that they usually have ice flowers, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, this uh, if you're familiar at all with 2D Mario, then this is one of those stages where you have to s you have to find a select a cor the correct path. Otherwise, you just keep looping. Um. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm a little bit mixed on these. It's an interesting idea, but... I've never been too big on it. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're playing Mario Wii, right? <laughs> I didn't see that gap. <laughs> you know, I know this is classic Mario, but, it, but you know, I kind of wish they kind of did like what they do with like 64 and all that, where it's just damage and bounce. Yeah. Okay, uh, I wasn't expecting to talk about this so early, but uh, do you guys prefer um, the power up system of the 2D games or the 3D games? Where like. 2D is like situational or like like this. Si situational uh, versus actual, basically power ups. Well, it's an extension of your abilities. Depends on how it's used in a as a situational. Um, I'm gonna. I don't know if this is unpopular, but I'm actually gonna say situational because. Um, I don't- I like the power-up system in the 2D games, but uh, the, I like the ones in the 3D ones more, just because 
uh, it's basic. They basically make you uh, play the game in a completely new way, um, and uh, there's a lot of, like the, there's level specific gimmicks centered around the power ups. Whereas in these games, I wouldn't. Just, in some ways, I guess you could call them a crutch, but it's more so that um, that you, you're literally again they're literally power ups. You're, it's an extension of what you can already do. Which is fine for these kinds of games, but um, I just find it, I just I, I think it's more interesting when they make the they build the power ups around like around the level design. It's so like I it's something to think about because like I've seen I've seen a lot of people go like say like being having power ups be situational in Mario is a bad thing, and I just I just don't agree with that. <laughs> I, I, I think that's a really, that's a really like simple minded mindset to have. Well, did it just say it's a bad thing? And you just leave it at that? Yeah. So, just because something's situational, it doesn't automatically mean it's a bad thing. Because I actually, I actually really li like the, the caps in Mario 64 and like the different flood nozzles. I, I think I'll boot. Oh my god. <laughs> this is stupid. Uh, the, the different nozzles and stuff I think are really fun to play. Like, I. There are. I, like, to this day, like, me, p being able to just play as Metal Mario and just wreck and everything is still one of the most satisfying things I felt in a platformer. Like, the, just the adrenaline rush with all that power is just so satisfying. And you get something that fails to be. Uh, excuse me. And then you get power ups in games that fail to really satisfy either need, like the Frog Suit in Mario 3. Mm. It's situational and you can't really do anything with it when you're out of that one situation. <laughs> that's, in that's interesting you bring, up, bring that up because that's actually one of my problems with the free new power ups in Mario Bros. DS. Where it's like, they try to satisfy both crowds, where it's like, yeah, these are like, uh. Like these kind, th this type of uh, power up where it's still Mario, but just uh, you're doing something a little bit different. But the way they do it in New Mario DS is where um, the only way, the only time you'd want to use them is for specific points for star coins and stuff. And um, it's uh, in the case of the mini, the case of the mini, that's all. That's for. Uh... Yeah, it's just a game for the world. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it, at least in the case of the blue. Mm -hmm. It doesn't help in many stages, but it's basically a worse um, stage one Mario. Yeah. In the case of the blue, sure, at least, you're, at least, at least it's not an active nerf. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'll give. The blue show is probably the function. best. The blue show is probably the best one of the three. Because, uh, like, the Mega Mushroom is, like, you only want to use that spe for specific points, otherwise you're just- you're probably going to end up breaking pipes that you need to go in. And then the Mini Mushroom is, like, you're s putting yourself at a clear disadvantage, and the only reason you'd want to do that is either to just challenge yourself, or to go into specific pipes, or, like, the, uh, secret worlds or whatever. I mean, I guess another reason you want to use it is height boost. I guess. I mean, are you- I, you're a little faster too in mini form, aren't you? I think. It's good for speed running. Yeah. Cause you get a lot- there, yeah. Since you're so tiny, jumping off enemies doesn't actually hurt them, so they're basically just additional springboards. Yeah. Huzzah! We made it!